Virgil, what happened out there tonight? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Defeat. Uh, obviously, it's half time, but three 0 down is uh, it's not great and uh, very disappointing evening, of course. And I think too many individual mistakes, and uh, we got punished for it. And yeah, this feels it feels bad. Why was it so hard to find a rhythm and a consistency in the play tonight? Well, I think obviously with the man marking system they do, and we have to do much better. And uh, when we have the ball, we have to keep the ball a bit longer and stronger and obviously they won those 50-50 challenges most of the time and um, then the spaces were were open and um, yeah they obviously they punished punished us immediately with that and um, yeah that's what happened it's a very disappointing night for all of us and um, but we can't dwell on it too long because obviously you know, is it? Two, two days we play again and a very big game here and we need uh, everyone to be uh, looking forward to that but this is definitely We'll, uh, we'll hurt tonight and uh, from tomorrow on we have to switch it back on to uh, getting results. As a defensive unit tonight, do you feel the goals that you conceded were too easy? Well, of course, like we we wide open, but it's more that we we conceded the goals because we lost the balls in difficult moments and we, that's why we wide open. And um, Yeah, it's a collective thing in the end and uh, we have to do all, all much better. And, we all know it. Uh, it hurts, like I said, and um, but it can't uh, can't put us down, and uh, we have to react pretty quickly. Is it a shock that that sort of happened out there tonight, Fior? No, it hurts. It's, it's, of course, we we didn't lose here for a long time, and um, but you know, credit to them. You know, we shouldn't take the credit from them away, and um, they punished us um, for being sloppy, especially in possession, and and. Um, Obviously, we still had chances to uh, to do it, uh, to score at least one or two, and unfortunately, we didn't. I appreciate you got Premier League game next, but then you will go back out to their place. Well, you did beat them 5-0 back in 2020. Can you lean into that at all, take belief? Well, if you don't have belief, then there's no point going to Italy. And Obviously, we make it very hard for ourselves um, going there with 3-0 down. And, but, you know, as you said, we focus on Crystal Palace. Uh, we have to bounce back. And the only way to do it is obviously winning that game on the weekend. And like I said, we need everyone. We need everyone to quickly uh, switch it back on. And, um, and then we'll focus on, uh, on hopefully uh, pulling out at least four goals over there. Virgil, thanks for speaking. Thank you. Thank you.